Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. Spring is here, so during the month of April, we love to explore bugs and butterflies, and then we move into gardening. So we're gonna start off with bugs and butterflies, and that is how our classroom is set up right now. So I'm gonna take you around the room and show you how each center is set up, and I will add snippets of the children interacting in each area. In our writing area, we have our ladybug and butterfly dot pages, and these are part of our spring dot packet on Teachers Pay Teachers, and we also have some spring color pages. These are a freebie on the website, and then I also have some bug these are tracing cards, and these two are also over on Teachers Pay Teachers in our short word tracing packet. In our science area, we are studying the life cycle of the butterfly. In our block area, we have assorted blocks, we have alphabet pebbles, we have bugs, and we have butterflies. On our activity table, we have bug counting cards that go up to 10, we have bug counting puzzles that go up to 10, and all of these links are in the video's description. And then over on the easel, we have big butterflies that we're painting, and these are a new freebie that's on, that, this is on the website, and you can print them to 11 by 17 to make them larger, which we love for the easel. One of our art activities is going to be painting bugs. Painting bugs. Painting bugs. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. We're also going to be painting these butterflies. This is the printable I just showed you that's on the easel. And for a fine motor activity, I'm taking the butterfly dot page. It's from our spring dot pages packet. And then we're going to be using dot stickers and placing them on the circles. On our light table, we've got bees. These are little bee finger puppets. In our sensory bin, we have dyed rice and bugs. Oh, the binoculars got in here, but that seems to happen. And on our Play-Doh table, we have bug stamps, chunky bug stamps. I love to use stamps with Play-Doh, and we also have butterfly cookie cutters. Worm. We've got a frog and ants. 
During circle time, we will be matching butterflies by color. This is a freebie that's on the website. We will also be doing five little frogs jumping on a bed. And this is from our five little friends jumping on a bed packet over on Teachers Pay Teachers. We've got lots more we're going to be doing. And I highlight all of these in a separate spring circle time activities video. So I'll drop that link in this video's description. Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden inside where nobody sees. Soon they'll come creeping out of their hearts. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five. Now pick up your bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Help me count again. One, two, three, four, five. What color do you have? Green. Green. Thank you. And you can tap it put it down. So that's how we have our classroom set up for the bugs and butterflies theme. Please make sure to like, click and subscribe as that really helps my channel. Thanks for watching. One of our circle time activities will be reciting here is a beehive. And so we have this packet on Teachers Pay Teachers. It's in the Song and Rhymes packet, volume number two. We have five numbered bees, and then we have the beehive. And then I have laminated them, and I put magnetic dots on the back because I want to use this on our magnetic board, but you can use craft sticks as well or Velcro. And then I took the plain bee, and I made enough so that each child can hold a bee while we sing the song, and of course I attach it to my jumbo craft sticks. During circle time, we will be having fun with these 10 caterpillars, and I've laminated it, and I've put the little magnetic, magnetic dots on the back, and we'll be reading 10 Wriggly Wiggly Caterpillars to go along with this prop. In our springtime packet, it's mostly gardening, flower activities, but there is a bug activity that I pulled out and you actually, there comes with several different cards and they come like this. So I, one thing I do is I keep this intact and then the children, the younger children can just put it right on top. And then the next step is to take this away, have it like this and then they can just match it up like that. And then the next step is to be able to match it just like that. And one of our props this week, these are going to be for the children to hold. These are butterfly props and they're in different colors. This is a free printable that's on the website. And like I always do, I have the children hold these while I read books and we sing songs. Another freebie that we have on the website are these spring counting cards. They go to 10. I like to make two copies and then the children can just match them up like this. Another free printable we have is this counting puzzle. This is a simple one for younger children. It goes to five and when you put the strips in numerical order, it makes the picture of a butterfly and we also have some other uh, strip puzzles as well. So I'll drop links to these in the video's description. And if you're looking for a butterfly template, I have this free printable. It's included in a butterfly activity. 
So I will drop a link to that activity and if you just scroll down the page a little bit, you'll find the download for this. You can use this also in the, at the writing table with markers or crayons. You can use it at the art table with paint. We have this free bug counting printable on my website and for each number, there's that many dots on the number and you can then use a pom-pom, you can use a button, you can use this at the Play-Doh table and you can roll up some balls and put it on there. Just something to put on each number. I also have these activity plans. These are bugs and butterflies and there's 24 activities. This one is for the uh, preschool age, ages three to five. And we also have a packet for toddlers and that is ages 16 months to 36 months. And then it comes with all of these printables that we will be using in our classroom. And this is not a printable, but I wanted to share it in here so that if you are interested in the links, we have this life cycle model and then we also have this, the cage and everything that comes with live caterpillars. We get these from Insect Lore. You can get this off Amazon. This year we found that it took a lot longer to get them from Amazon so we ordered directly through Insect Lore. I'll leave, um, I'll leave the links to both and you can decide which one might work for you if you're interested. Make sure to check the description of this video where you will find links to all of the printables that I've mentioned, plus some other uh, printables that might not have been shown.